Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your general reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please do check the description box below for any and all information that you need is down there. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. Tons of stuff there. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. All your support really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you for helping to grow the channel and getting these messages out to those who need to hear them. So thank you so much. Okay, Sagittarius, first half of September. General, this is a general reading, so... If you can fit it into any kind of situation into your life, however it makes sense for you, you're more than welcome to do that. So if it does fit into a love situation for you or something else, that's totally fine. But I will read it as a general reading as I do the love reading separate. Okay, so I hope everybody's doing well. Almost coming to the end of summer. All right, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, the Archer. And what do they call that half man, half horse? The centaur, I think. All right, Sagittarius. Oh, there you go. What kind of energy is around you? Water. So water energy here is um, can be Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer around you in some way, shape, or form, but doesn't have to be. You could have water heavily in your chart in some way or someone you know could have uh, water heavily in their chart but water is all about emotions and feelings it's a very healing energy it's all about, all about flow going with the flow you know ease compassion peace um, and that sort of energy so I don't know we'll see how that plays into I'm getting like a very peaceful feeling like six here 24 is 6. So that's a very uh, peaceful, healing, balanced number. I'm getting like a very, like if you've just been through something, I'm just going with like my intuition and how I'm feeling because I can feel energy. I'm feeling like maybe you've just been through something here that's been very fiery and, um, and I just did your love reading and it just, you know, was about going through turmoil and coming through that and that sort of energy. So whatever you've been through here, I feel like now like the waters have calmed. Everything's now peaceful and calm. It's been like I'm getting peaceful resolutions. Everything's balanced now. Um, moving forward. Six is also about moving forward and to a better place. So I feel like you're moving on to a better place now. You're feeling calm, you're feeling healed, you're feeling uh, peaceful, you're going with the flow, um, and just going in a better direction for yourself. Well, that's a nice feeling, Sag. So I hope some of you resonate with that. And you, Sagittarius, are the number nine on your card there. And nines are about, just about coming to an end of a completion of something. So we did get in your love reading the moon, which is also the moon is Cancer Pisces, which is a water sign. So you could definitely be, um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. All right, so let's see what the energy is like for Sagittarius, first half of September, what's going on with Sagittarius. First half of, there we go. Wow. <laughs> the <laughs> Spirit, thank you for confirming what I just said. <laughs> We have self-love. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. And did I just not say that? Did I just not say that? Okay, moving on. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. So now taking care of yourself. And I did feel that very, you know self-love like that peaceful calm feeling of now you're able to move on and just be very peaceful and calm and go with the flow and going in a better direction for yourself as in self-love wow wow thank you spirit okay so 
bottom of the deck here, a child's love. A love between a parent and a child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us, and from their first cries, they establish themselves as the biggest part of our lives. So you could have children. Um, they could either be small children or grown children here. As you see, um, this could be the, the parent figure or just adult children or older grown children that's affecting you. Um, and maybe, you know, you have support and love from your children. And we have two, so you could have two children. Um, we have two females here, so you could have two um, female children and maybe they're very supporter, supportive of you. Um, they care, they nurture you, um, and you're very thankful for them. Wow under there love again wow <laughs> love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion while love can be a beautiful emotion it's equally a form of energy that propels you through life so now again with that self-love and now being in that more loving compassionate peaceful calm place now moving forward and being in a better place to be in a more positive energy with yourself and outward to other people, if that makes sense. Wow. Wow, Sagittarius. All right. So let's see what's going on. Let's get some clarity with the uh, tarot here for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. <laughs> Sagis. All right. All right. Let's see if I can shuffle these. What is the energy for Sagittarius? First half of September, please. Thank you. Wow. The lovers. Wow. <laughs> Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. So, and it doesn't necessarily have to be coming together with a lover here. This is making conscious decisions about you, your well-being, your self-worth, your self-love again, self-care, having that healing energy within yourself and being a more uh, healing, compassionate, loving person going, moving forward out of whatever turmoil or ending completion you've just been through. Now you're more aligned and in a much better place now and making better decisions for yourself also moving forward. And you could also be here uh, connecting with a new lover also. Okay, so let's get more energy around you. More energy around you. Thank you. One more for the first half of September. For the first half of September. The Sagittarius spirit, please. Can we have one more? The Sagittarius is energy for the first half of September, please. Thank you so much. And that one. Okay, so what do we have here? Death. Exa wow. Scorpio, but doesn't have to be. And I had just said about ending something, coming out of a si tough cycle here. You also got this in your love reading. So definitely here, going through a cycle and ending, but coming out, you know, more balanced and healed and compassionate and loving moving forward with yourself and others around you and having that support of your family, your children. Wow. The Nine of Cups. So this is sort of like a single energy, taking care of yourself, self-love, happiness and joy, wish fulfillment, dreams coming true. I feel like now you're able to move on in whichever direction you want to move on to and you're feeling like now you can fulfill all your wishes, your needs, your hopes, your desires moving forward in life, whatever they may be. I mean, it's like, okay, something's ending, but yay, I'm so happy now. So, <laughs> and I know that sounds kind of terrible to say, but that's the energy I'm getting. Wow. You know, in the Knight of Cups here, sometimes, you know, you see all the cups here. Sometimes it can talk of overindulgence, so you may need to, and it's right next to death, so if that's something also... Um, that you've been overindulging, you may need to end that also, or maybe you have, or maybe realized, you know, overindulgence is not such a good thing. If that applies to you, having that self-love, knowing you're worthy, because you got love twice here, you know, and having that healing self-love that, you know, you are better than this overindulging. 
but now you're you know ending something here and now you're just so happy and I'm free to do whatever I want yay so <laughs> okay so let's get more clarity the page of cups and the six of cups wow so oh the page of cups here is water water so we have two water and clarifying water over here so again this is you page of cups is that loving compassionate peaceful harmonious communication now being in such a more peaceful mindset healed mindset you're much more loving compassionate caring nurturing in the way you communicate and act towards others with the page of cups here and this also can speak of the children again uh, pages are usually children or they're of loving sort of communication sometimes it can talk of extending a love offer out to somebody else also but doesn't have to be so again that loving nurturing caring giving sort of energy you're putting out in the way you interact with other people and having that love and support from uh, maybe even your children or you could be deciding to extend an offer out of some sort of love and emotions to somebody new because you did have the lovers here so however and you have love over here so however that resonates for you it's a cup so this definitely speaks of children again we have two children here so I definitely feel like you could have children six of cups this is you know thinking of the past nostalgia memory so you may be thinking back on you know whatever life you had before back in its early stages and thinking of you know things of the happy times thinking of your children and again they're here to support you and love you and care and nurture you moving forward and the six of cups can also speak of a soulmate connection or somebody you knew from childhood um, long long time ago um, and even someone you've had past lives with if you believe in past lives so different scenarios there however that relates to you all right so let's get your actual situation what are you going through what's in the energy of Sagittarius first half of September oh that's all right we'll take those three all right, so we have, wow, the Palace of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Page of Swords. So, Palace of Swords, this deck has uh, these Palace cards. It's the only deck that has them, and there's only four. One for each suit, Sword, One, Cup, and Pentacle. And you have Palace of Swords, that's the Air Energy. Three of Cups, Water Energy again, and Air Energy again with the Page of Swords. So, I feel like here... You're just living in your truth, your honesty. You have clear cut communication with those around you. Uh, you're just m very much here, just living in a very authentic state. Um, you know, you've cut away the things that were no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS from anybody, um, having like total truth and clarity, and just living in a pure, honest state. And, you know, you're happy and joyous with those around you or friends and family coming together, having good times, rejoicing. You may be keeping tabs on somebody online here, watching somebody. Page of Swords is usually somebody who watches somebody online, uh, their social media or whatever. Um, I'm getting their YouTube channel. I don't know what that means, but um, watching somebody. But uh, Or you could be doing online research in some way where you're learning things, new things here with the Page of Swords. Again, this is truthful, honest, open communication. So I do feel now you're in a very authentic space now, uh, very open, honest, true to yourself, happy, joyous times with your friends and family, learning online or just watching somebody online. And maybe this is a new love interest here because you did have the lovers there somebody who may have had past lives with a soulmate energy here or this is just love and support from your children as you have gone through this transformation and the ending of something and coming out uh, in that trend you know could have been a major transformation here with death as you have major transformation you go through something hard but you transform you grow you learn you heal and then you have a new new beginning going into the future 
All right, so let's get more clarity now on your actual situation. So we have the Two of Cups. Well, now, and the High Priestess. So, <laughs> wow. So the Two of Cups does speak of soulmates coming together in union. And we did have the soulmates over here. We have the soulmates over here. So if you're connecting with somebody new, and again, we have this in your love reading, and it's coming up strong now in your general reading. So... This is just can be totally aligned with yourself, being aligned with your faith, your spirituality, um, your intuition, and moving forward and doing what's best for you. Or this is definitely connecting with the soulmate energy here. Water energy, as we have water energy here. Wow. Being, you know, two of cups, people coming together, being aligned. It could be just, you know, whatever you went through now, being aligned with that person, just having... Um, peace and understanding towards one another, seeing finally seeing eye to eye out of all the turmoil um, and just having like peaceful resolutions with that person and also could be a new soulmate connection and being aligned with yourself and being happy and harmonious and healed and having that self-love within yourself also and spiritually aligned. So a lot of different meanings with that. But then we have the High Priestess. So and this is, you know, Cancer Pisces, so this is being very intuitive. So you could either be uh, very intuitive here, just listening to your gut, your intuition, and just knowing but not saying. The High Priestess doesn't say. She keeps to herself. So this could be an energy of you of just keeping things to yourself, not, lot, not really talking a lot to other people about your situation, either that you just came out, out of or whatever your new connection may be. Here, it's like you're keeping it to yourself, and it may be even towards this new person, not really telling them your situation or how you feel. Or they could have this high priestess energy. It could be very intuitive, um, things of that nature. So a lot of different meanings with that, so have, however that resonates with you. Or you need to listen to your gut and your intuition as you're moving forward now in your life. All right, so uh, let me move this down. Okay, so let's get some advice and guidance for you, Sagittarius. The first half of September. The first half of September. A lot of different energies here. I'm getting a lot of different um, meanings. So I guess for who's watching, whatever resonates for you, you take the, that parts that resonate. Because, you know, thousands of people watch this, so I'll get different, a lot of different energies. Okay. Going that one and this one. What's your advice, Sagittarius, in this? Wow. So, <laughs> the Four of Wands again and the Two of Wands. So, we just had the Four of Wands in your love reading. And now it's showing again, and I had said I used a different deck, but uh, the Four of Wands usually does depict the Four Pillars, which represents 11-11, which represents the Twin Flames. That's been coming out in like all your readings, so you could definitely be, connect, be connecting with a Twin Flame Soulmate energy here. But it's up to you, again, as with your love reading, deciding, making decisions and plans here for your future, which door do you go into? Do you connect with your twin flame soulmate or do you go off on your own and venture out uh, on your own? So decision is totally up to you. Two of Wands is about going in a new direction, making plans and decisions, but it's up to you where you want to go. Do you want to connect with your soulmate twin flame? You want to make decisions based here. Four of Wands is about your home life. It's your stability. It's your foundation. It's usually commitment, marriage type of card. Uh, ceremony celebrations it's usually indicative of the marriage card but it doesn't have to be so whatever is best for your well-being your foundation your growth your stability it's up to you here what decision what path that you want to take you can go off on your own or you could connect with this new soulmate twin flame all right, so this is almost turning out to be a love reading, and I wanted to be general, but we got love, we got love, a soulmate, twin flame, all over the place here. Oi, Sagittarius. Okay, so let's get more clarity now. So, well, the moon, and that came out in your love reading in the Four of Swords. So, again, 
So, I mean, you have your advice here of making plans, decisions, what direction you want to go into that's best for you <clears throat> based on your home life, your foundation, your stability, or your twin flame connection here. <coughs> Sorry. And then we have the moon energy here, which is Cancer Pisces, air energy here uh, with the four swords. So, you know, this is healing, thinking, contemplating. Uh, spending time alone. So you may need to spend some time alone here to figure out what you want to do moving forward. Here with the Four of Swords energy. And then you have the moon. So, you know, not really being sure here. Uh, you know, the moon can speak of not seeing things clearly, um, being indecisive, but also being very intuitive. So we do have the High Priestess over here. So the moon is that intuitive energy also. So again, it's that energy of spending time alone, thinking, contemplating, healing, but also following your heart and your intuition. And, you know, after the moon energy, always the sun always rises. So I feel like, you know, you will get clarity eventually as you think and contemplate moving forward because you see the light here. So you really need to think about what you want to do here. And you may not be expressing much to anybody uh, moving forward as you're thinking and deciding what you want to do for your future. All right, Sagittarius, let's get, let's get sort of like an outcome card for you for the first half of September. What is your possible outcome here? What will Sagittarius decide to do? Some of you moving forward. What will Sagittarius decide to do here moving forward? Can we have one card for Sagittarius, please? Thank you so much. One card. Thank you. Okay, so we have the Seven of Coins. The Seven of Pentacles, Earth Energy here. So this is an energy of just kind of I'm trying to get that straight in the camera. There we go. So this is kind of an energy of patiently waiting. So planting the seeds and waiting for the harvest to grow. Um, patiently waiting. So <laughs> I feel like you're going to take your time. You're going to figure out what seed is best for you to plant. Well, that didn't sound good. But <laughs> how you want to plant your seeds to grow for the future. You know, where do I want to invest my future going forward? So your outcome is, I think, taking your time and deciding what you want to do moving forward and where you want to invest your time in, your energy in. That's best for your growth, your stability moving forward. All right, let's get more clarity on this. So, oh, there you go, temperance. There's your energy again, Sagittarius energy. So I think you're really going to think long and hard here about um, doing what's best for you, which will... Uh, what will be, you know, more balanced for you, uh, more healing for you moving forward, having that patience and time. Again, two patients of, this is like the minor and the major of temperance right here. Wow. So, yeah, taking your time, really thinking things through, um, having patience here. What's best for me? What, what will keep me balanced and healed moving forward? Being divinely guided energy here. And seven is a divinely guided number. So I feel like you're going to listen to your gut and your intuition and really think long and hard and take your time and just really, really decide what you really need to do or where you want to invest yourself moving forward. Let's see, let's get another one. Yeah, exactly. Balance again. Wow, six of coins. So yeah, exactly. Exactly what I just said. Six of coins is about balance, harmony, uh, equal give and take. So really, really here... And pentacles are very slow, so you're really going to think long and hard here about where you want to invest, which will keep you healed and balanced moving forward. All right, so let's get some bottom of the deck. Now we have the four coins. So, wow, well, we got the four, the six, the seven. So this is holding on to your stability. The four is all about stability foundation, so holding on to what you have for your stability and growth moving forward. And also it's the energy of holding on to things and holding back from others. So 
you kind of have that energy of until I figure things out, I'm holding on to what I have and I'm holding back from others as with the high priestess doesn't share anything. Very quiet kind of energy in the moon. Also listening to your intuition. Faith. So this is the Hierophant card. Uh, faith, having faith, hope, optimism. Uh, spirituality, um, doing what's moral, just, and right. Uh, this is also commitment, marriage, um, structure. So I feel like you're really going to do what's right, what you feel is right for you, what you morally have to do that is right for your situation moving forward. That is Taurus energy. What do we have? The magician. So, you know, manifesting a new beginning here. Uh, this is Gemini and Virgo doesn't have to be so you will manifest some sort of new beginning moving forward um, whatever you decide to do here whatever you feel like is best for you you can manifest this new beginning for yourself and now we have strength so this is Leo so you could be dealing with a Leo around you in some way shape or form or this is just having that inner strength um, endurance faith courage um, Determination moving forward fiercely, <laughs> having willpower and endurance. And you know, two of coins juggling around uh, things in your mind as you figure things out, uh, just juggling a lot physically, mentally, and always, even financially, sometimes could be. But you do whatever you choose here, you do have the ten of coins here, so you can have growth, prosperity, um, and there you are, King of Wands, King of Wands energy, there's your energy in the world, so again, new beginnings, endings, and new beginnings, Knight of Coins, taking that slow, steady growth movement forward for the long term, and then you do have the Ace of Cups, so you could decide here to venture out into this new love connection, or just connecting with you and doing what's best for you. But this Ace of Cups is divinely guided. So whatever you're feeling led to do, however you're divinely guided to do with temperance is best for you, would be um, aligned for your highest good. And it could be this new love connection or just doing what's best for you and filling your own cup and your own self-love moving forward. Slowly, taking slow practical action forward. Being in King, King of Wands power here. Whole new world endings beginnings total abundance in every single way but indecisive now juggling things around but finding your inner strength and courage to manifest having that faith while you hold on and hold back from other people till you decide exactly what you will do in your situation here so let me put this here so let's get some advice guidance for you, Sagittarius, moving forward, whatever you decide to do here, that's best for you, just moving on on your own, or moving on in a new connection, having love and support from your ch your children, your family, friends, feeling very peaceful, calm, even though you have some decisions to make moving forward for the future, I still feel like you're in a very peaceful um, um, energy for the most part. All right, so let's get some energy here for you, Sagittarius. Happy ending. Wow. So, <laughs> and we have nine and three, which is 12, which is three, which is about, again, reuniting, coming together, celebrating, uh, rejoicing. So whatever you choose to do here, you will have this happy ending. Alright, so let's see if there's anything else. Sagittarius, spirituality, wow, divinely guided, 7-7, seven, seven, double confirmation. So maybe if you're not spiritual or you're just starting to be, you really need to uh, delve into that. I do feel like um, divine energy here, 7 is spiritual divine energy, is really trying to connect with you, to tap into your spirituality and faith. And we did have that faith card right there. And trust in your gut and your intuition moving forward. It's 7, 7, 14, 5. So definitely feel like change. You're going through change right now. All right. 
So anything else for Sagittarius? Anything else for Sagittarius? For the first part. Parenting. Wow. And I did say you had children. So some of you do have children. And 639, again, is uh, things coming to an end. Cycles ending, new cycles beginning. And parenting as children here supporting you, the love from your children. And we do have domestic harmony here. 46, 10 endings, and then new, one new beginning. And I had felt here that whatever you've gone through in your domestic situation here, now if it's been very... Um, a lot of turmoil and stuff it's I did feel that peace that harmony that peaceful resolution now the forgiveness energy uh, maybe having blue is about the throat chakra having better communication um, throughout the dynamic here and just ha now having a more peaceful harmony within the situation okay let's see what's on the bottom now patience again and there there you are patience is temperance too so Two, unity, people coming together. Again, seeing eye to eye. Again, with that peace, that harmony. Um, and it can be about, you know, coming together with a soulmate or whatever here. But two here is people coming together. So, wow. So a lot, lot of different messages there for you, Sagittarius. So whatever, whatever resonates for you, I'd say follow your heart, your gut, your intuition. Do what's best right for you. However, you're being divinely guided to go now in the future i feel like you've been through a ending a cycle but you're more calm peace harmony now moving forward having self-worth and love once again overcoming difficulties but now there's like new decisions you need to decide on but you're going to take your time or you need to take your time and really decide where you want to invest going into the future and having patience with yourself moving forward and with others around you Okay, Sagittarius, um, if this resonated for you, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Um, if you subscribe, hit the little bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. And I do ask that if you don't want all the notifications, you will get other signs notifications that you don't unsubscribe. You can just as easily unclick the bell, but then you'll have to manually go into your subscriptions area and look for my readings and find the ones that you want to watch. So you do have that option. And um, if this didn't resonate for you, you can go down below in the description box and find past uh, playlist links are there. And if something catches your eye, I'd say watch it anyway, regardless of the date. There may be a message in there for you. So I would suggest that. And good luck to you here. Best of luck to you. Follow your gut, your heart, your intuition moving forward. And sending you many light, love, blessings, and healing energy. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.